Hey, okay, okay. What's up, family? It is none other than your boy, Jay Gittins, the father. As usual, remember to be positive, be optimistic, and keep positive people in your circle. Some people think I'm crazy. My hair do look like I'm crazy, like Albert Einstein. I'm probably about as smart as that motherfucker was, too. <laughs> but anyway, that's neither here nor there. I wanted to talk to y'all about two things, all right? The title of this video is, the first topic is, anger is a weakness. And the second topic is, little baby. How many of y'all know that little baby went around and bought every corner store in the neighborhood, I guess, that he claimed he was trapping in? Like, or the neighborhood that he was from that he be trapping in, or he was trapping in? He went and bought all of those corner stores, and he's supposedly um, renovating them, right? There's a huge problem with that. Like, there, there's, a, there's a huge problem with that. And a lot of times, unless somebody shows you a certain perspective or a certain angle, you're not able to see it. So right now, a lot of people are probably just like, Oh, he be doing something nice. He bought his stories. He buying all his stories. He, yay, you know, yay. <laughs> Fuck no, that shit ain't nothing good, bro. Like it ain't, it ain't nothing good. It's unfortunate. But um, but let's go in, let's go in, let's go in. First off, I want to tap on anger being a weakness. Okay, I want to let everybody know a different perspective. A lot of times, like I said, if somebody doesn't say something to you a certain way, you won't even think about it that way. You you won't even have a way to to see it that way. That's why um people like to stay closed-minded or people like for you to stay closed-minded because they can control you like that you you don't get like like religion right people who are in religion like christians that believe in the bible they're not allowed to ask questions outside of the bible like you start talking about dinosaurs and shit they lose their mind oh dinosaur oh my god jesus said I, ah. you know what I'm saying? you start talking about like outer space aliens and you, know I mean? you start talking about biology biochemistry you start talking about that shit people in religion go ah, 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 my pastor said don't ah, ah, ah. they lose their fucking mind right so, I want to say to you, um, by the way, anger is a weakness. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you get angry, somebody has full control over you. Like, like a person, you got to really learn to see it from this perspective. If you're a person who gets really angry and you get furious, aggressive, you know, all these kind of things, confrontational, right? A person can literally control you and do whatever they want with your life. Let's say you're a person who's angry, you have anger problems, you get upset quick, you want to fight, right? Let's say I wanted, I didn't like your job. I didn't like that you that you had a job. Let's say you get a nice job, you work in there, you make a lot of money, you got your house, your car, you're doing your thing, and I'm jealous, and I don't want you to have it, and I want, I want to make you lose it. If you're a person with an anger problem, you know how easy that is to do? Like, all I got to do is, is, is say the right things to you in front of the right people, and you're going to blow up. And then I'm going to be like, oh my gosh, look at this guy. You get what I'm saying? Like, when you're angry, this is why, like, all right, so this is why a lot of, and this is actually a good perspective for fathers to, to look into. This is why so many fathers are on the losing end of the stick when it comes to their children. Because majority of the time, if you love your children, which most fathers do, most fathers love their children. Even the fathers that, quote unquote, are deadbeats that don't take care of their children, they love their children, normally. This is why even though they're a deadbeat, if you say the wrong thing about their kid around them, they'll hit you on your mouth. Like the, sa the same dude that don't take care of his kids and everything, say the wrong thing about his daughter in front of him and see what happens. Or, or try to disrespect his fatherhood to his daughter, you'll, you'll see how it makes him feel. Um, at least a guy that really, really cares. But when you are in this position, women know this about you. Like they, 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 they know that they can smell it. Like they can smell they can smell it like blood on a shark. You know how a shark can smell blood from like a mile away? Women, mothers, especially the ones that are vindictive, the ones that are narcissistic, the ones that are like literally trying to destroy you, which is normally almost all of them if you guys don't work out. What's up, Olivia uh, Falana? I appreciate you coming into the live. Um, you know, I'm just speaking uh, my perspective on, you know, certain vindictive women and mothers on fathers and what fathers what perspective fathers should consider and that is the fact that if if she can control you emotionally she has control over you like if she can say hmm that's why you're not gonna see your child <laughs> and you can get mad and put a hole through a wall or say i'm i'm gonna beat somebody else yes. like i got a friend of mine i know right what he what he like to do is he like to beat up <laughs> well he used to like to beat up the uh the males right so like so like if he beef with his woman or his baby mother or whatever it may be, and she all in his face, ah, 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 he know he not gonna put his hands on her because that's what she wants. She just wanna get him locked up. So he would be like, go get your brother. Or he would be like, go get your father. Tell your father I said come here. Or he'd be like, 
tell a man, call, call a man in your family and tell him I said commit. Like he want to fight him, you know what I'm saying? But the thing about it is, oh, you know where that's gonna get you? Dead or in jail. That's on. That's the only place that's gonna end you up because you're not gonna beat everybody. Trust me. Yeah, <laughs> you're not gonna beat everybody. And look, here's the even worse thing. Even if you do beat everybody, niggas gonna deal with you a different way. You're not gonna just beat up everybody and just be walking around beating up everybody. Like somebody's gonna catch you slipping. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's gonna catch you in your bed, put a pillow over your head, and, and you gone. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's gonna just let you go around and be bullying people. It never works that way. Like even kings back in the day who used to have the power to bully and they would do it, somebody would catch them. It, it might be their own family. It might be a cousin of yours who just wants your power so they take it, you know? So whenever you have this anger, this rage, this raving power, it's going to consume you and it's gonna become, you know? So, so as fathers, I would say it's a very important thing that you learn to control um, your anger. Learn that this is a weakness. Once you get angry and you feel yourself getting angry, you have to learn to control that guy. Like anger is, anger is actually, I'm gonna have to do another live on this because it's actually really big. Like this is a really deep thing. It's a deep psychological thing. Anger is a different personality in you. It's a different being. Like it's not even a frequency that you are on. It's a vibration. Like it's a feeling. You know what I mean? So like when you get angry, you're really, it's like being drunk. Like you, you really are not yourself and you're just wanting to ravage and destroy anything. And anytime somebody already knows what your whole plan is and what you're going to do and how you're going to do it, they have control over you. So if somebody knows that they can say this and it's going to make you do this, they have control over you. When they lose control is when they say do this and then you say, nah, I'm not going to do that. Right? So that's, that's how you really want to have full control over it. And the only way, one of the very helpful things I think that a father can do is enlighten himself and get some power. You know, the only way you can really get power is with knowledge. You know what I'm saying? If you have knowledge, if, if you have knowledge, that is power. You know what I'm saying? So being that knowledge is power, if you know, you know, if, if you know all about um, the law, you know all about your rights. See, you got to know your rights. We, we speak about this in a lot of different avenues and facets of life. Like, you know, when dealing with the police, when dealing with um, the government, when dealing with um, different institutions, you, you, you know, schools, um, sports, like whatever it may be. Um, um, whether it be like a, um, a landlord tenant relationship. Hold on, y'all. Whether it be like a landlord-tenant relationship, whatever it is, you want to make sure that you always know your rights. And see, one thing about fathers, fathers do not know their rights. As a matter of fact, majority of fathers are convinced that they don't have any rights. And because of this, <coughs> they just fall back. Most fathers just fall back. Or they look at other guys who are trying to father and they think they're doing too much. Because they just, they're unfamiliar with what fathering is. Like, they literally look at it and they're like, bro, what... What is that? Like, why are you doing that? That's supposed to be for women. Like, you know, when they see, like, the father um, doing all the stuff for the kid, um, going to court, filing against the mother, you know, holding her accountable. They're like, what are you doing? Why are you holding a mother accountable, bro? You're not supposed to do that. But that's because they have been trained to believe that, and they actually legitimately do believe that. Like, I, I know for a fact they do because I had several guys try to convince me to stop when I was going on uh, my, you know, my when I started my custody battle with my um, daughter's mother, my two eldest daughters. But look, y'all, I'm going to jump off here. Y'all remember to be positive. Be optimistic and keep positive people in your circle. Remember, anger is a weakness. And what little Baby did, buying all those corners.